When I set out to learn how to code, I had this idea that learning how to code and becoming a programmer would fix a lot of my problems. And I wanted to make a video just to say like, learning how to code isn't gonna fix all your problems, but it is gonna help you. And how does it help me? Learning how to code is kind of like this pie in the sky idea that you really feel like if you're able to accomplish this, all of your problems are gonna be solved because you can make six figures a year. And I'm realizing now that making more money doesn't necessarily make your life any better outside of what money can fix. And as someone who's dealt with a lot of issues in his life, as someone who's, who's dealt with addiction problems and just mental health problems and a lot of personal issues from growing up in a single parent household to living in like the hood and, and just growing up through all of that and not having a dad and, and abuse as a child and, and many things that have built up over the years, I thought that learning how to code and, and getting a better job and having a career would fix a lot of the issues that I had. I realized that while software development and learning how to code did fix my life financially, it didn't really improve my life in other ways. What? Let me explain, let me explain. Outside of increasing my salary and putting me in a better financial situation, I think the real value from learning how to code came from doing something and sticking with it long enough to become successful in it. And I felt the same way about jujitsu, and that was probably the first time I really felt that. Before that, my success was fake success, like video game success. In video games, you get this illusion of success. You accomplish the mission, you, you finish the storyline, you, you become a high-ranked player online, and all of those things are kind of imaginary success because you don't have anything tangible and you're, you're not really accomplishing anything. And when I set out to learn jujitsu, that was the first time that I really challenged myself to really, really stick with something that was extremely difficult to do and continue to do it until I felt that I was pretty good at it. But after jujitsu, I started learning how to code. I approached it with that same mindset of like, I'm gonna do this really hard thing until I become successful at it. And YouTube is another example of that. YouTube is extremely difficult to become successful in. And I approached it with that same mindset and that same grind and that same, I'm gonna do this until I'm successful at it and I become really good at it. And I did. And now I'm at this point where I've accomplished multiple things that have brought me value outside of monetary success. And I feel that that is where a lot of the value from learning how to code and doing something that's very difficult will improve your life. Because the money, trust me when I say this, and it sounds like a spoiled thing to say because I do in fact make good money, the money will only make you happy for a little while until you realize that what you get with the money isn't anything that can really solve problems outside of money problems. And if you believe that all your problems are money problems, Fix them and you'll find out really quickly that that's actually not the case. And you probably have a lot of other things that you're dealing with that you thought money would fix and it doesn't. And I know that maybe I'm only talking to a few of you out there that, that do think that learning how to code is gonna solve all these problems that you have. And I want you to know that it, it might not and you might not feel much happier after you do this and you might be the guy or the girl in a few years from now after you do accomplish this that realizes that the money that you wanted to make that you thought was gonna bring you all this joy isn't gonna do shit. And the value that I got from learning how to code is that sticking with something and doing something that's very, very hard until you're able to achieve what you set out to do with it. And it's the same thing with jujitsu, same thing with YouTube. And it's probably gonna be the next thing with entrepreneurism and, and trying to find happiness because I think that's where I'm at now. So if you set out to learn how to code because you feel that it's gonna fix all your problems, just know that even if it doesn't, it will help you get to that next step. And I do think that there is a lot of value from learning it because a lot of us who may not have done much with their lives, and I'm speaking from a personal experience here, once you do start doing things that you thought were either impossible to do or you never imagined that you would do, when you start doing those things, you start realizing how much you are able to accomplish and how much you can accomplish when you put your mind to something. And that's what all I wanted to say. And I hope this video brings someone somewhere a little bit of value and maybe a little bit of insight on 
how I felt when I was learning how to code and approaching it as a self-improvement tactic and hoping that it was gonna do a lot for me. And I know that there's a lot of people that think that way too. So hopefully this brings that person or those people some value and a little bit of insight from someone who's kind of lived it and is living it and is going through all the motions. All right, with all that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.